JaggerBombmanTraining.com. Just got done a workout. It was uh, one minute on the heavy bag, one minute step ups. How it went was I worked the heavy bag, good clip, nonstop, just constant hitting for one minute, probably about 80% of what I could do. And I did uh, step ups. So what I did, I did 30 step ups a minute. So I alternated that 10 rounds, 20 minutes, and uh, it was a good workout. Finished off with um, one minute of five second down push up, five second up for one minute. The reason I did that is because I was breathing really heavy. It was extremely, I was, I was breathing very, very hard. So I wanted to finish off a type of a strength movement because, you know, you can breathe heavy. You can go out and jog all you want. You can go out and do sprints. But if you're not fucking capable of fucking being strong when you can't breathe, it doesn't make fucking much of a difference because it's not really useful in my opinion. So you got to be strong when you're fucking training, when you when you wind up in an anaerobic type state, in my opinion. It's like I say to cops all the time, why do you jog? No criminals ever jogged away from me. They sprint. You got to sprint after them. You got to tackle them. You got to wrestle around with them. You got extra gear on. You got to be in better shape. Jogging's not going to fucking help you. Bench pressing 500 pounds isn't really going to fucking help you. But who the fuck am I? Anyhow. What I use, I use, I don't know if you've seen my bag, but I bought this a while back. It's a, from Titan Fitness. It's a six foot bag, I believe. Might be a little bigger than that. I'm not sure. Uh, it's 100 pounds and uh, it's a kick bag. I like it because it's the same weight as my other bags, except it's longer, which means there's a lot less movement, a lot less swinging. Now, people say, well, it swings because you don't hit it right. I don't, dra I don't drag it. I mean, I don't push with my punches. I want to hit them and go and get back out. I mean, it will move if you wanted to, but, you know, that's not what I... So I do like it. I paid like $132 for this at the time. It's a great deal. And I use, uh, for my step-ups, I got a new step-up type bench because I'm trying to get some more room here and stuff. But see the bench there? It's a 24-inch uh, base. Pretty heavy-duty. Um, I think I paid $160 bucks for it, but it's got the, uh, the top of it. It's got a pad like my animal stall mats that I have in the gym here. It's got a 900 pound capacity and uh, I can't imagine doing anything with 900 pounds on it. So it's going to do well for me. It takes up a lot less space. So you do 30 step ups, hit the bag, and I finished off with the push ups. What I've noticed, and I make videos basically for me to get, just to say stuff. For any reason, maybe people, maybe uh, people learn they can train at home and do different things. And I'm a blue collar worker. I've always been a blue collar worker. I love it. I like the environment. I like ball busting. I like uh, men almost being men. You know, I mean, it's getting worse, but hey, still better than being in a white collar environment with a bunch of these fucking. Uh, they're just, whew. Not not too many of them are fucking worth worth even being around. But uh, I notice that people rather spend time listening to people what they say than actually what they actually do, which doesn't make sense to me because when I listen to people, um, before I follow along and I, and I, I listen to them on a regular basis, whether they have a podcast or a YouTube videos, um, they got great information. I need to know that they live this way. Okay. That's just how I am. I am more of a, I have to see how you live. I don't care what you say. Okay. I've seen a lot of people say shit and do something fucking completely different. Okay, and I don't know who fucking follow. Most people are hypocrites out there. You can follow me around all fucking day if you want. I'm the same exact way in here, out there, in my house, at my job, same way. And anybody can anybody that knows me can validate that. Matter of fact, people make fuck make fun of me about it. Okay, because that's just the way I am. Um, I think there's a lot of bullshit out there. And uh, I, I'll talk Jordan Peterson real quick. The reason I use him is because a lot of people know who he is. Um, when I was younger, teenager, I wouldn't have listened to him. I definitely wouldn't have listened to him when I was a young man because I don't believe he's very masculine. I believe he is feminine, okay? Don't get me wrong. He's got a good message. It works for you. It just wouldn't work for me, okay? I need to, I'd rather listen to that blue-collar worker who raised a fucking family, who went to work every day, didn't make excuses, was a strong man, and fucking carried his own fucking weight, and... Uh, didn't let you fucking bullshit him and stood his fucking ground. They're the guys I'm going to listen to, okay? They're the guys I, I would listen to way before I listened to Jordan Peterson because he's a psychologist. This fucking guy, he's, he ain't got his shit together. He's on drugs for his fucking mental state. Well, 
blue collar workers I know who fucking went to work every day, 12, 14 hours a day, raised a family, still managed to fucking coach their daughter's softball teams, fucking arm wrestle, fucking go to the gym. They're the guys I want. I didn't beat their wives or anything. They're still married. Yeah, they're the guys I'd rather spend around time with. They're the guys I want to learn from. Or at least fucking, they're better people to be around, in my opinion. Today, you got such a fucking shit show of fucking people. You got guys out there pushing their, their women's advice on you, and they're, what they really are is pissed off because they were with a single mom, and the single mom did them fucking dirty. Hey, I don't know if I can tell you, okay? But when you go around and you fucking start making everybody else fucking feel the same way, well, you're just fucking sour grapes, and you want... And, and it's funny, because it's mostly the people listening or these little geeks that were in high school that couldn't get laid or couldn't find a woman, okay? And that's kind of your fault, Okay? Because there was role models in your school. You just chose not to fucking follow. Okay, there was fucking athletes. There was fucking football coaches. There was coach, coach, wrestling coaches. I mean, it was real easy. You could look around and find masculinity. But you guys chose not to. Okay? And now, you, now you're looking at freaking people on the internet who I don't, I still don't believe are fucking very masculine. You know, it's kind of like um, people break the balls of, um, uh, I'll say, Andrew Tate. Another one. Everybody knows who he is, especially now. He's got a lot of good shit to say. I would be more likely to listen to Andrew Tate when I was a teenager because of his fighting background and him, ah, it's your fucking fault. Don't cry to me. I don't want to hear it because that's the way I was fucking brought up. That's the way we all heard it back then. I don't agree with the way he is with women, but hey, you know what? That's on him, okay? I don't fucking agree with that stuff, most of it. And uh, so as I'm saying, more people, and at least he walks the walk. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not even talking about his money or something or nothing like that. I'm talking about just the way he is and his mindset. Okay. To me, that's more beneficial than Jordan Peterson's mindset. Make your bed, bucko. Yeah. I, it's like, what the fuck? You know? So, uh, yeah. pay attention to what people do before you start listening to them. Okay. I don't care if you fucking listen to me. Move on. I, I don't care because most of the time my kids when they were growing up didn't listen to me. But you know what? Eventually, they straightened themselves out, and they're pretty good fucking parents. So, at least I did that, okay? They're good parents. They take care of their kids. We don't have to take care of them, just like a lot of people out there who fucking kids are on fucking drugs, and uh, they're taking care of their grandkids, or they're not taking care of their grandkids. So, I mean, I did something right. I'm not saying if I, I'm just saying I'm a blue-collar worker who likes blue-collar life, blue-collar fucking world, and... Uh, that's just why I bring this, you know? Train hard, do shit that's manly, and you'll fucking be better off later.